All right, what's going on you guys? It's Royce Jacob. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I have some content recommendations for you guys. I do also have a pre-written intro for this video that I sent out to my newsletter not too long ago. So let's just dive straight into that. What's up, Waves fam? This is going to be a compilation of some of my favorite pieces of content that I've consumed over the years. And in regard to the podcasts and newsletters, continue to consume to this day. The following is a cliche because it's true. Knowledge is power. I believe that the content I'm about to share with you has aided me in my journey to becoming a successful trader. The more you know, the more you grow. Another good cliche for a reason. The beauty of applying the proper education to the markets is that your personal balance sheet grows as well. So again, you guys, I do always say that the more you grow as a trader, the more knowledgeable you become in this game, the more you're directly compensated with cash flow. I'll be featuring this intro in a video that I'm making on the topic. It's going to be released in a week or so, and I'm in Big Bear, but as always, I wanted to give you guys a head start on some of this if you're at all interested. Didn't need to read that, sorry about that. But these will all be uh, these will all be in order of my perceived value in regard to trading. Let's get into some of these gems. So we have books, we have podcasts, and we have newsletters. I'm sure you guys can see all the tabs open up there. We're gonna kick it off with podcasts, and new we're gonna kick it off with newsletters. Go on to podcasts, and then finish it with books because I have a big old stack of books. I got to be careful here. Big old stack of books here for you guys that I do want to talk about. I want to keep this as quick as possible. I'm going to go over each piece of content, go over hopefully a 15 to 20 second rationale as to why I really like it, why I believe it helped me on my journey as a trader. And uh, hopefully this resonates with some of you guys. But of course, before we do get into it, I have to recommend my personal piece of content that you guys can uh, that you guys can engage in that really supports me and supports the channel and that I put a lot of time into and take a lot of pride in. And that's what you just read in that newsletter. It is my complete portfolio and daily newsletter, complete breakdown, entire portfolio, update that every trading day. With every update, I also send out that email newsletter explaining my thoughts. So it's not usually like this. This is just an exception. This is a little bonus newsletter, but it's usually rationalizing my trades and whatnot. And again, I do put so much time into this. I truly do take pride in this and uh, I, I truly do my best to make sure that it's worth every penny that you guys are paying for it. So if you guys wanna check that out, first link in the description, I truly appreciate it if you do. But if not, no worries at all. Let's get on to the first piece of content. Again, we're gonna kick it off with newsletters. It went a little opposite on the newsletter, but that's all right, it doesn't really matter. First newsletter I have to recommend you guys is Morning Brew. This is an amazing newsletter. I probably started reading Morning Brew in 2017 2018 and they actually just recently got acquired which is huge and it's so cool to see see newsletters as as a platform as as a medium of of information exchange scale because they sold for hundreds of millions of dollars and it's awesome but morning brew very business very it's very macro but it's also very investor focused and it's very kind of millennial focused um it's easy to read it's fun to read and and the authors the writers on morning brew do a really good job and uh, this is something that I read every single morning. It is in my inbox every morning and I do read it. Okay, so first newsletter, Morning Brew. Again, all the links to every every newsletter, every podcast, every book I have here will be linked down below for you guys. Okay, so Morning Brew, number one. Two, in a similar vein, Robinhood Snacks. <laughs> Robinhood Traders, we all love the Robinhood platform around here, right? Um, Robinhood Snacks is also an amazing podcast and newsletter. Very similar to Morning Brew. Um, they did honestly kind of bite Morning Brew with the, with the dynamic of the newsletter. But to be honest, equally as good. It is, uh, it is, it's same, same, but different. You guys, uh, I do glance over both of these every morning. It depends, whichever one catches my eye, I'll usually read. But I do listen to the podcast more than the newsletter because they also have a podcast with two very, very, um, very two very passionate i'll say to be nice uh they're very loud individuals but they make this news exciting it's like a 15 minute podcast so this robin hood snacks uh recommendation does double as both a newsletter and a podcast recommendation moving on anthony pompliano i'm talking about this guy a lot around here the the baron of bitcoin himself but also just a, a cool dude a smart dude i'd love to grab a beer with pomp someday and uh, i view him as a mentor and a friend okay so uh anthony pompliano again he has a great podcast this also doubles as a podcast and newsletter but he also has an amazing newsletter that he sends out every morning very thoughtful covering so many different macroeconomic things if you're involved um if you're interested in bitcoin this is definitely someone that you want to be keeping an eye on is uh pomp because again very very cool dude in my opinion and uh, i do enjoy his work a lot moving on last newsletter strategy by ben thompson this is ben thompson is one of the best writers that um 
in this format, in blog format, Ben Thompson is probably one of my favorite writers of, of anyone I've ever read. I've gone over a lot and I actually left out a few that I that I occasionally read, but Ben Thompson's newsletters are just so well written, so thoughtful. He puts so much time and effort into them. And uh, he's a great writer and I really take a lot of inspiration from Ben Thompson through these, okay? Just the way he structures sentences, he's a, he's a very sharp dude and I respect um, his thoughts a lot. He's very rational as well. So st uh, Stratechery, Stratechery, I always just call it whatever, uh, whatever flows off my tongue um Shotechery by ben thompson great great newsletter um for any of you guys who are interested in finances as, as well as everything like he covers a lot of wider range of topics so this is a good just overall one moving on to podcast tim ferris show he also has a book in here as well tim ferris he is uh i consider him one of my original mentors you guys i started listening to tim ferris and joe rogan um Rogan is not one of the podcast recommendations in here, but I, I did start listening to Rogan in late 2015. Um, Tim as well. Tim, I consider to be one of my absolute mentors in, in not only business, but entrepreneurship, just frame, the framing the way you think and the way you structure your life um, and just optimizing. He's an optimizer. That's what he does. And that's what I do my best to do is optimize my life, optimize my financial well-being, optimize happiness, optimize my time, most importantly, because time is the most valuable currency of, of all. And that's what Tim's really good at. His, excuse me, his latest episode with Jerry Seinfeld I just listened to yesterday. Absolute banger. Um, Jerry Seinfeld, obviously one of the most, uh, one of the most accomplished comics, just, just, uh, just comics, just almost personalities in general, uh, has a, had a, had a very interesting conversation with Tim and it was very enlightening and he's a very sharp dude as well. So that's a good one to kick it off with. It's a little funny. It's a little serious. And, uh, he has he has some absolute crazy guests on here because he's one of the biggest podcasts in the world. But I highly highly recommend you guys check out Tim Ferriss's podcast. It's uh it's amazing. Okay, his podcast actually with Naval Ravikant, who is one of the book I'm reading now. It's called the Naval Manac, which is the last one I want to talk to you guys about. Amazing book. Naval Ravikant is one of the most just brilliant minds I think on our planet right now to be completely honest in my opinion keep in mind guys this is all just my opinion um, listen to Tim Ferriss with Naval Ravikant seriously one of the best podcasts I've ever listened to in my life okay so that's a direct recommendation moving on this is a good one chat with traders when I first started not when I first started getting into trading um, but this definitely helped me on my trading journey. I don't listen to every episode for full transparency, but I think a lot of these episodes could really help some of you guys who are just starting out. It's called Chat with Traders. Aaron Fifield, very charming Australian dude. Uh, cool guy though. He has some good guests on. Again, some of these are some of these are hits, some of these are mi misses. Michael Katz is a good one. Day trading, the questions you want answered is a great one to listen to. I'd listen to that. Um, he also, like, eSports Pro attains uh, high score playing the stock market. That's a cool one just because uh, you gamify. The, they, they talk about gamifying the stock market, which is what I do personally. You guys know I, I, I like video games. Um, I, I've played sports my entire life. I serve, every, like, et cetera, et cetera. It's all about gamifying the experience. It's about making it fun. And when you view it as fun, you can act you get into flow state of what is called flow state, which is where you're performing your best with the, with the most minimal amount of effort. Okay. So uh, again, there's some cool episodes in here. Aaron Fifield chat with traders is my podcast recommendation as well. Uh, second to last all in podcast with Jason Calacanis, uh, Chamath Palihapitiya. Uh, Jason is one of the most celebrated angel investors in Silicon Valley, early Uber, Slack, calm.com, uh, a whole bunch of others. Chamath Palihapitiya is, uh, is like the godfather of SPACs. You guys know SPACs are like the hottest thing ever right now. He pretty much, he pretty much revived SPACs. Chamath has been one of my favorite voices. I've recommended a lot of his videos over the course of this kind of this, this pandemic, this, um, just this kind of market wilderness that we've been in over the past half a year or so. And Chamath has been one of my, one of my favorite voices, one of the voices of reason, in my opinion. And uh, I really like this podcast. They're all very good friends. and They're all very, very competent uh, investors at a very high level. Okay. So these are, these are like, they're, they're thrown around billions. They have their whales. And uh, as me, being an aspiring whale, I want to learn from the from the greats. Okay. So the all in podcast, very good one to listen to as well. Very relevant too. Lastly, this is a little more fun, but these are these are actually my boys. So D drama and on and shout out to you guys. If 
for some reason you're, you happen to be watching this, um, the group chat podcast. These guys talk so many exciting things. These guys, these are LA Bubble Boys. So I want to throw that out right off the bat. Uh, LA Bubble Boys all own very, very successful clothing companies, like multiple clothing. D owns like five, four. And I think he owns like 12 other other brands. Drama, obviously, Rob Dyrdek's cousin, um, who owns Young and Reckless. On in, he's a finance guy. He has a background in finance, helps both of them with the finance. They just talk about all things like pop culture. I'm very into high, like I'm a, I'm kind of a hype boy myself. So I really like listening to these guys, but they also have some great guests on, some great entrepreneurs. Uh, they talk entrepreneurship, business, markets a lot, especially during these times, vaccine news. Um, of all, if I could only listen to one podcast for, uh, like in general, and trust me, you guys, I have like probably like 25 podcasts. On, I'm, I'm subscribed to like 25 podcasts. If I could only listen to one, it would be the group chat boys just because these are my boys so shout out to the group chat boys let's get on to books okay i want to keep this sorry i'm talking so fast guys i want to keep this timely for you so i do have this in order that's why the stack might have looked weird when i held it up earlier first one good old signed copy i've held this up before flashed it money master of the game by mr tony robbins this is an amazing book this is an absolute tank of a book this i think this is like 750 800 pages it took me a while to get through this but it was worth it trust me you guys signed copy to show you guys the signature just for good measure just to flex a little bit so good old tony robbins again he's another mentor of mine uh, just in the way you frame your mind i'm not super he's a little woo woo for me but there's a lot of good a lot of good underlying themes in that woo woo that you can apply to your own life if you're a little more on the rational side like like i am okay so money master the game this is very uh, oh man it, it really does like even even considering i read this like probably three years ago now uh i still agree and reference this book for so many of the print uh the financial principles that i still apply to my life and this is a great book so money master of the game highly recommend guys i've never not done a one take video in my life none of my videos have ever been edited but my quick time just crashed and i'm gonna have to edit this one so continuing where we left off money master of the game was number one number two rich dad poor dad this is a very special book to me because it was gifted to me by one of my best friends growing up this book truly did change the way i thought about money i read this probably i mean when i was 18 so it's like seven almost eight years ago now um this is a legendary book in finance and investing i highly recommend you guys give this a read rich dad poor dad robert kiyosaki he also has a pretty good line of other books as well but rich dad poor dad um this is a great gift for any of your friends who you want to be interested in finance investing trading etc um and just the way to frame your mind around finance and financial literacy in general okay so two rich dad poor dad Three, four hour work week. Shout out to Tim Ferriss once again, you guys. So Tim Ferriss, again, he has a podcast. Four hour work week was his like claim to fame for the most part. And this book was so important in not only my trading journey, but my my entrepreneurial journey, my business savvy journey, and the way I, I frame my time once again, because time is the most valuable currency. The four hour work, work week is kind of a cheesy title and it does roll off a little funny, but you guys, the the underlying principles in this book of just how to structure your time, how to structure your days, how to prioritize your, your tasks from most important to least important and just eliminating all, all pretty much all the BS in your life. And this book was very like, just again, very pivotal, not only in my trading career, but just in my, in my arc as, as, as a growing individual. So uh, four hour work week by Tim Ferriss, highly, highly recommend this book. I've reread this. this is one of the few books that I've reread completely through. So definitely recommend four hour work week. Next outliers by Mr. Malcolm Gladwell. This is a great one. The 10,000 hour rule for mastery. So this is pretty much as a compilation of, uh, of multiple individuals, masters of their craft over many different crafts. Um, and how it, it, the, the premise of this book is just that you got to put in the time. And that's what I always talk about. You guys, uh, a lot of people want the glamorous answer. You want the blueprint, but the reality is you just have to put in the time. You've got to put in the work. And that's really what this shows you is masters of their craft, dedicating their time, dedicating their lives to becoming the best at what they do. And that's why outliers is a great book. Outliers, Malcolm Glad Gladwell, number four, Number five, we've got a few more here. These are getting a little more quantitative. So this one, Algorithms to Live By. This is a good, this is a good book. Who's this by? I'm sorry. Brian Christian and Tom Griffith. Okay, so Algorithms, Algorithms to Live By is a great book in the sense that it, it ties mathematics and almost psychology together. Okay, so um, obviously trading is highly based in mathematics and psychology. That's why this book, although not directly correlated to trading, 
is is very important i believe for any trader any investor any macro any anyone who wants to perform um optimally in anything that's such a broad statement but you guys get what i'm saying this is a great book it allows you to think rationally mathematically and uh, algorithms to live by i do recommend this next on the list thinking fast and slow this is a real like like if you want to think about thinking this is the one thinking fast and slow by daniel kahneman this is an amazing book about just rationale and a way to structure your thoughts in the most rational way possible and how to approach problems questions um just any issue you may have and uh attack it with the most rational most uh, rational is the best word to use here thinking fast and slow great book you guys again these two are are tough these two are objectively pretty tough for me at least i'm kind of i'm kind of dumb these two are object objectively pretty tough reads you guys but i do think they're worth it especially and again they do really really make an impact on the way you make decisions and in the game of trading it's all decision making like the the margin of error in uh in like three three right decisions versus two right decisions is, is huge okay and the the payday can be significantly greater based on how many right decisions you make and that's why these are very important books lastly we're getting into philosophy and then the book i'm currently reading which is again is that naval, naval ravikant book the emperor's handbook by marcus aurelius this is an amazing book it's obviously dated Marcus Aurelius was one of the great emperors of of his of history and uh, this is pretty much just a bunch of small thoughts like small bits and pieces of wisdom that he had jotted down it's like his private journal that was obviously modernized slightly um, but this is very good learn from the greats learn from the ancients because although we've come a long way in society obviously these guys weren't were in day trading on Robin Hood but there's still so much wisdom so much innate win wisdom and so many um, just base principles that you can take from these books and apply to your life like stoicism is such an important thing just dropping your ego especially in this game i talk about this a lot when you have those fifty thousand dollar days it's hard it's hard not to have an ego but you need to stay humble you need to keep your ego in check and that's a big reason that stoicism not only this book but um just the practice and, and the and the principles of stoicism have helped me so much so the emperor's handbook by mr marcus aurelius amazing nighttime book for sure like i, I definitely recommend reading this book at night like right before you go, go to bed philosophy before bed is is the goods um next second to last we got one more after this siddhartha by herman hess this is similar to this in the sense that it's just it just teaches you about it's it's very philip philosophical you guys i'm not a buddhist i i'm i personally i'm sorry if this offends any of you guys i'm not religious i grew up very christian went to a christian school um from kindergarten to eighth grade that's a little personal but um uh, i no longer bind myself to any religion i know I, I i respect religion i think religion provides many great morals and, and great principles that uh, many individuals can apply to their life and i do think that religion is a is a net positive for the world that said i'm not buddhist i'm not christian i'm not anything but again there's certain morals there's certain principles that you can take from each religion and uh, that's why i think this book is very good and it's always good to learn just other perspectives the more perspectives you have the more um the more points of contact you can have in terms of decision making in terms of how you want to structure your own life okay just take the best principles um from every from every religion from every teaching from every book whatever you consume and apply those to your life to form your own thoughts and your own decisions etc okay so siddhartha again another great nighttime read last but not least the almanac of naval ravikant this is i'm reading this right now and to be honest this is probably one of my favorite books i've ever read it's it's a uh, this is by a man named eric jorgensen and this is pretty much just a culmination of it's almost like it's a biography of naval ravikant but it's just like a compilation of all his best tweets all his best excerpts from podcasts and, and interviews he's done and it's structured in a really good way and i really really like this book a lot um i might talk about this more in the future but you guys highly highly recommend this book the almanac of naval ravikant um and that's going to close it off you guys i'm so bummed that the my quick time just crashed on me i don't know why that happened it's a brand new computer i'm so mad that happened because i've never edited it or I, it's not I've edited many videos in my day. I actually used to be, uh, I used to make a lot of adventure edits and stuff. Um, but the investing videos, I love doing it one take. I take pride in doing it one take, but going to have to let it slip. I'll just, I'll just piece these. I'll just splice these together real quick. Um, 
But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you do go on to check out some of this stuff. Please let me know down in the comments below if you do, what you think about it. Also, definitely let me know what your fa favorite pieces of content are, what books, what podcasts, what newsletters, what, what blogs, websites, etc. you like, because I'm always interested in what you guys are interested in. So I hope you guys, um, once again, got some value from this. I'll talk to you in the comments down below. And until next time, always remember, take action, make waves. Peace.